Hello friends. In the second tutorial, I want to introduce you the mode flow environment briefly. From file menu, we have new model. If you want to create a new model, you can use this one. Open model. If you have an existing model, you can open by open model. Convert model. It gives you an option if you have a model created by a older version you can convert it to support by the new mod flow preference there is a different code and versions you can choose to run your model but let it as default save plot you can save plot also print plot you may you can make some animations and here shows the existing models which you have in your pc from grid, menu, uh, from grid menu, there is a mesh size. You can uh, create your domain and you can make a mesh for your area you want to investigate. From layer property, you can choose and confine it, confine it to model use it. Cell status, here you can provide the rigid boundary for uh, flowing model or for transport model. From top of layers, you can provide elevation for top of your layers, which you have in a model. And in bottom of layers, you can provide elevation for bottom of the layers in a model. Parameters, here we have time. There's a time you can choose, but you have to take care if you want to use a day for time and for length meter, you have to use throw out the model, for example, if you choose time in a uh, day, the discharge should be in cubic meter per day because we choose a unit of length as meter and unit, unit of time as day. So velocity should be in meter per second and rain should be in, uh, you have to convert to meter per year, uh, per day because as we get the rain data, it should it always in millimeter per, per year, but you have to check, convert to day per uh, meter per day. And for mass, I always use uh, gram or milligram. And from initial and prescri uh, prescribed hydraulic air, you have to provide initial data to uh, model uh, mod flow use it and horizontal hydraulic conductivity and vertical hydraulic conductivity you can provide we have also option to provide specific storage horizontal anisotropy vertical anisotropy transmissivity vertical decanus storage coefficient sometimes we don't need to uh, uh, provide transmissivity and storage coefficient mod flow calculate it by itself but in some cases it's better to provide by yourself also effective porosity and specific yield bulk density as you see here a tick it means I, I opened a model and I provided this data so any data you provide mod flow uh, provide you with a tick as uh, shows you that this data is provided from model we have uh, different codes here for flow simulation and here we have uh, several codes for contaminant transport or inversion calculation also we have pm pass for calculate pass lines from tools you can uh, use it for digitizing and for interpolation for field generation also after running you can show your result for example, water table in to-do visualization or drawdown if you have a well, uh, it shows you the result. Also, water budget. From Hellup, you can learn more about mod flow. For example, content. You see, we uh, modeling environment, the advective transport model, PM pass, tutorials. You can get information and learn more about. Uh, mod flow. Also, uh, because this mod flow is a demo version, we have some limitation we have to take care. Total number of elements in, uh, in the model should be less than or equal to 5,000 elements. 
and the total number of elements in one layer should be less than 2,000 elements. And also, we can provide only three layers. But if you buy a program, it will be unlimited. That is the end of the second tutorial. And for the third tutorial, I want to introduce you grid editor tool, which is most frequently used in this code.